Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are here today to talk to you guys all about horns. What does what do, what are horns, Colton? Horns, How do they I work? Do what are they for? Well, mm -hmm. What good can they be for you? And uh, explain some of the different types, some of our favorite models, and uh, what horns can do for you. All right, Nathan, so we have some Atlas horns in front of me here. Um, so yeah, dive into the, the uh, mis mysterious world of horns and uh, the different styles. Um, obviously, I have like a box style speaker here. Uh, I have a, a massive guy in the middle and then just you know, our regular uh, paging horn. So kind of uh, walk me through this and um, you know, What's the main differences between them? Yeah, you got it. So at Pro Acoustics, we sell a lot of different products. Uh, you just happen to have Atlas stuff laying here on the table. Uh, I used to say we sell from Atlas to Yamaha, but I think that leaves out some other manufacturers. Yeah. So we got a lot of other people in between yeah. there whose yeah. products we have available. Yeah. Uh, these are readily, avail uh, readily available from us. Uh, we love Atlas products. They are built tough, and they do a good job of showing what I want to show you guys here today. Absolutely. Uh, so like Colton mentioned, we do have a speaker on the far left. That's a conventional... Um, just a conventional speaker, built-in 70 volt transformer. For more on 70 volt, check back on our previous uh, video from uh, some months back. Yeah. But uh, the SM82T over there, we have that one in white. That's kind of a conventional speaker in the sense of it's conventional woofer and tweeter. You know, you've got an eight inch woofer and a high frequency driver uh, beside it, uh, all inside of one cabinet. Uh, so it's going to be good for music, but at the end of the day, there's certain limitations on how far a conventional speaker is going to be able to throw. Right. So yeah. sometimes we need to be able to send sound very far away. Uh, you hit on some of our uh, popular applications, ball fields, um, I've done a lot of aquariums, rodeo arenas here yep. in Texas are very yeah. popular. Also, um, you know, we still do a lot of uh, paging and emergency stuff for factories, warehouses, um, manufacturing plants, things like that. So sometimes we have to have a combination of what type of speaker do you need for your application. Yeah. Uh, so what that comes down to is do you just want music and how far is it going to throw or do we prefer, prefer more of like the vocal range. So when we say the vocal range of frequencies people say what does that mean. Yeah. Uh, basically a paging horn as we've all encountered them before it sounds like a megaphone, a bullhorn. Yeah. Uh, it focuses in on our voice. Um, so that it can project the human voice very long distances or tones thereabout. Gotcha. Uh, so basically, you know, this is a paging horn, I want to say under $150 or so, yeah. but it can do upwards of 120 decibels plus uh, loud. in the vocal range. That's extraordinarily That's loud. loud. This, yeah. this horn here can throw hundreds of feet. Um, and while the SM82 might be able to throw those those same kind of distances it's not going to be as loud so by focusing in on those vocal frequencies horns can throw sound very long ways absolutely but then that leads us to the dilemma what do we do for ball fields mm -hmm. because colton and i grew up playing ball with this kind of horn yep um you don't want to be listening to inner sandman or welcome <laughs> to the jungle when you're walking up to the plate and hear it Through coming that. out of a bullhorn yeah. or a megaphone most yeah. of the time uh, audiences these days want to hear something that sounds better, crisper, clearer, yeah. fuller range. Need bass. Yeah. All about that bass. So yeah. enter our friend, the Atlas FS12T. Yeah. Um, this is a representative of the class of stadium speakers that uh, are many times coaxial, meaning there's actually a woofer and a tweeter, kind of uh, in one in front of the other, yeah. um, and also is horn loaded. What does horn loaded mean? I don't know. Horn loaded means we're taking a full range, you know, musical speaker like we have in the SM82, but projecting it through a horn. Okay. So gotcha. lots of times I explain that to people. It's kind of like if I'm standing here talking, you might hear me, but if I cut my hands over my mouth, you might hear me even further away. Yeah. Yeah. So that same basic concept is, is uh, integrated into stadium speakers okay. to where we can throw music further distances. Mm -hmm. 
so this Atlas speaker here is rated, I think, at peaks of like 130 decibels, and that's while covering the bulk of uh, the musical spectrum. So highs sound like highs, lows right. sound like lows. lows yeah. We love this guy. We had had a great great time with it uh, out here in the fields. In the fields, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. And uh, to touch on, just to put in perspective. OSHA, uh, they, they require hearing protection. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, they require hearing protection at 85. At 85 right. decibels. So, uh, yeah. Long-term exposure um, to volumes exceeding 85 decibels is where OSHA requires you to start wearing hearing protection. Yeah. So that means that if one of these horns is able to do, you know, 100 decibels at about 100 feet or so, it's pretty loud you know yeah. it, it's still booking it you're still you're still rocking and rolling and that gives you plenty of volume to get over your crowds or your ambient noise or that yeah, kind of thing absolutely so all that to say we've got you know the atlas fs12 horn we've got the apx 30tn horn we've got like the ga15 and ga30t horn which are uh, some other options but the main idea here is when you're looking at horns we need to figure out do you want more musical reproduction do you want more vocal intelligibility or both? Uh, also keep in mind, when you get the best of both worlds, the price point does go up a bit. Yep. This one is from Atlas, uh, like I mentioned. We also have uh, stadium horns from other manufacturers like Community Loudspeakers. JBL. Love those guys, mm -hmm. uh, JBL. Uh, check out some of our other videos for some of their offerings. Yeah. I did a little uh, spiel over at the community booth at Infocom. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, and this is a 12 inch woofer. We also have stadium horns starting in six and a half inch woofers, mm -hmm. eight inch woofers, 10 inch woofers, dual 12 inch woofers, 15 inch woofers on up, uh, as well as stadium subwoofers. So awesome. if you have applications where you need to know what horn is right for me, uh, and also pair them with amplifiers. Uh, figure out if you need a 70 volt or an 8 ohm ampl uh, amplifier to go with it. Reach out to us, www.proacousticsusa.com, 888 256 4112. I'm at Nathan at proacoustics.com. And I'm Colton at proacoustics.com. That's Colton with an I. And again, just to reiterate, um, you know, share this around. I, we, we want to get more involvement with these videos. So if there is any questions that, you know, is on your mind still after watching, uh, watching this video, please feel free to drop them, you know, down below. Um, and, you know, get involved. Like I said, we, you know, we're, we're trying to touch up on as much as we can and give you all the info that you need here. Uh, but, you know, we, we can't possibly cover every single thing. So definitely get involved. Uh, you know, let us hear your voices down below um, and share this around. Um, but I believe that's that's all that's for today. That's a wrap. So um, again, reach out to us. Uh, we're we're here to help you guys. Um, until next time, I'm Colton. I'm Nathan. See you later. <laughs>